It seems incredible in this day and age of relatively sophisticated marketing that some marketing directors are still making creative decisions based on a few focus groups. This is insane. It's the same as saying I'm going to commit hundreds of thousands of dollars of my company's money to a creative approach because my Aunt Betty, who lives on Mulberry Street, thought it was just wonderful. You know, we all like our Aunt Bettys, but to tell you the truth, I don't care if the little lady likes a creative direction or not. What I want to know is, does it move Aunt Betty to action, to buy a product or use a service? Was there a kinetic connection? This is not the same as liking, not even close. We can all cite examples of television commercials people love to hate, but that sold a ton of product. Do you, do you really think people really like to see the paranoid Mr. Whipple catch people squeezing the Charmin? Of course not, but it sold enough toilet paper to paper the globe. In essence, it's not about what someone likes, it's about making an honest connection and delivering the right messages. I once created a commercial that uh, everyone, including the client, hated until they saw the results. People don't like them, the focus group director had said. Horse Bucky, I replied. The commercial had Ukrainians talking honestly about the current state of the economy, and it certainly wasn't a good time for most in the mid-1990s. However, when questioned further, the focus group director admitted it got people to thinking, and yes, it moved them to become involved in the privatization process. That's exactly what I wanted. I didn't give a hoot whether they liked it or not. Quite often, these types of messages touch an emotional chord. They might even remind the consumers of something unpleasant. However, the key is to get the consumer thinking and to make, the, make decisions on a key message, not superficial jargon. I realize focus groups have been around since God invented sweat, but some agencies and some companies utilize them like a crutch. They have a place, and that place is to be used in concert with quantitative surveys. However, any marketing decision made on focus groups alone, regardless of the number, becomes so subjective, subjective as to be utterly useless. I'm reminded of the words of the great ad genius David Ogilvie. As he put it, I notice increasing reluctance on the part of marketing executives to use judgment. They're becoming to lie too much on research. And they use it as a drunkard uses a lamppost for support rather than for illumination. I'm Michael Willard and I am the Ukraine Observer.